This is Jill from Amazon Web Services. Today we are going to see how you can develop .NET applications faster using our AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio. The first thing we see in Visual Studio is the getting started with the AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio page. In this page, we need to connect the plugin to our AWS account. This is done by first setting up a user in the AWS Identity and Access Management page in the AWS console. This user needs to be created with programmatic access, which will give you the access key and secret key. Copy and paste these keys into their respective boxes. Then choose Save and Close. That's it for the configuration. We're all set up and ready to build. So let's start with a new project. Select File, New, Project. Now under Visual C Sharp, choose Web, and then we will create an ASP.NET web application. To give it a unique name, we will change the name to My Web Application 1. Next, we'll choose the single page application. This is a project template that is included with Visual Studio. Now we have a project that we can compile and run immediately as our sample project. Now that the project is up in the IDE, we can compile and run it locally. But more interestingly, I can compile and run this quickly up in my AWS account and quickly have an internet accessible server. To do this, right click on the project and choose Publish to AWS Elastic Beanstalk. And that will start a wizard to publish the app to AWS Elastic Beanstalk. For the region, I'll choose US East Virginia. We'll leave the default and create a new application environment. On this page, I'm going to copy the application name and paste it into the environment name, which will also update the URL. Next, we check the availability of that DNS name to ensure it is a unique name, which it is. On this page, I'll change the size of the instance to a T2 micro and keep the rest the same, and then click Next. On the Permissions page, we'll keep the defaults and click Next. On the Application Options page, I'll keep the defaults and click Next again. And on the Review page, just hit Deploy. Now Visual Studio will create the server environment in AWS and deploy our code. The entire deployment of this application usually takes around four minutes. To look at what is happening here, we'll use the AWS Explorer and choose the US East Virginia region because that's the region where we told the wizard to place the application. Then we'll expand the AWS Elastic Beanstalk section and we'll take a look at our app and the server it runs on. Here is our app and we select View Status. We can see in the status that it's still starting, so it's still building this server. It takes a couple minutes to build out a new server environment. So we'll pause and come back when this is complete. Now that the environment is built, we'll right click on the app and choose View Status, which gives us a view of events and monitoring, and even the ability to change the size of the server. Clicking on the URL link at the top will open the application in your web browser. Here we can see the application is up and running. We can go to the registration page and back to the home page. What you have just seen is we were able to publish our .NET app out to AWS and have it up and running on the internet quickly and easily with the AWS tools for Visual Studio. If you need additional information on .NET on AWS, visit the Windows and .NET Developer Center at aws.amazon.com/net.